in this tutorial we are going to see about runtime scrolling view so let's begin so at a runtime we can be able to add a data and you can be able to make a scrollable view so let's create panel okay and then save the scene and then we'll try to create one more panel so this is going to be a scrollable object so just set the anchoring position of it and then we'll try to change the color which we record for our product i mean for your product which you like to develop and then duplicate this it's going to be container so one is going to be a scroll view and another one is going to be a container okay in a base we are going to have uh, the scroll rect component and it's going to be a child container is going to be child of a base okay so in container we are going to have some items so let's make it as middle center okay and then we add a grid layout group grid layout group so in order to layer the element so make sure that you are vertical if you are doing horizontal you want to go with horizontal so I'm going vertical side so try to increase the size of a cell X and Y which is required and then change the color of your item so let's we add some text here change the color of the text and then resize it So let's have three data set here one was a serial number and then name and then the score and then score now it's fine okay so if you see this is going to be a cell so it will be duplicated like this and if you see you need uh, some space between that so you can able to do here in spacing on y-axis 
okay choose how much you like to have okay so you want to make sure that it need to be horizontal so that it will be in order in one by one so that's it so we added this thing next we want to make sure that we need some scrolling system since we do, don't have any scrolling system we are going to set that so drag and drop the container and hit play the scrolling is happening but you want to make sure that you need to disable the horizontal since we are moving in vertical side okay next is if you see every setup is fine but it's not moving because you want to have a content size filter in order to make the movement of a scroller okay one more issue we have we want to have a preferred size so preferred size is nothing but it will make the container to have base as at a different size which we have how many cells so it will to increase the data at runtime cells at runtime okay let's we have a mask so mask will show in only a particular location where we have so i added over over the scroll location okay so now the scrolling looking fine the next thing is you want to make sure that it should short from top cell so what i'm going to do i am going to make the container at a bottom so drag and drop that so drag and drop that base of a container to little bit below so that the starting position will start exactly from the scrollable leg position okay so let's have middle center anchoring position so let's try to play now you can able to see that it will start from zeroth cells and it will finish and final cell so everything is working perfectly as the expected so let's we de disable the other cell and we'll try to change this location a little bit okay okay everything is fine let's create a folder called prefab and then drag and drop the cell okay now let's create a script and then drag and drop the script okay open the script so now we what we are going to do we are going to generate a cell at a runtime so that we can able to see that scrollable will doing a dynamic scrolling system at a runtime while user moving the object for example data is pushed to from a server infinite scrolling cells so you can you want to manage that so in order to do that let's we do one small test so public game object cell prefab
so we are going to have a yeah, for loop so it's going to loop the number of times which you like to initiate initialize that prefab okay so game object object equal to instantiate of cell prefab so object need to be in position object dot transform dot set parent so here we want to choose where we want to apply that object so it's going to be in this dot this dot game object so i'm just assigning i need to be with this parent so it's going to be a transform okay so let's we make sure that okay everything is fine and then uh, i'm making the vector position so if you see it's going to be in container the script so that's it so and then drag and drop the prefab so why i added in container means it will be very easy to get a parent that's why so now everything is fine so what are the value we given so everything will be reflected so till from 0 to 10 11 values will be shown over there from 0 to 10 means equal to 10 it will be total level cells okay so let's try to change okay in order to use a ui you want to implement the namespace ui so we let's try to change some serial number dot text i am going to pass i that's it so you can be able to see now we created a perfect scrollable list we can use for leaderboard or whatever to display a player name list something you can use forever so let's try if you like to have some more decimals you can add it then so that's it so if you think this video is very helpful for you please hit subscribe to our channel and enable the bell bell icon thank you